In this video I'm going to show you a real magic. Take a look. I'm going to paste text and these are the short commands. First, I'm going to create a radio selection with two options on WooCommerce checkout page. Those options are personal and business. I'm going to add this field before checkout billing form. And if the personal option is selected, then the company field, I need this to be hidden. So I'm going to generate the code. It will take 10 or 15 seconds. Now I'm going to copy the code, go to my site, create a new snippet, paste the snippet, save it, activate it. Now I'm going to go to the checkout page. And what do you know? There is a nice custom selection. If I choose personal, then the company field is hidden. Are you already curious and you would like to know what tool I'm using? Well, keep watching. Okay. The tool is called WP Cody and it is created by the same guy who created my favorite code snippet manager WP Code Box. Now pay attention that WP Cody is not ready yet. It is said that it, it is in alpha stage and the code it generates shouldn't be used in production. I ask Ovidio who is the author of this tool when will this tool be ready? And he said me that probably the start of second quarter of 2023. At the moment, the tool is free for all WP Codebox users. I asked Ovidio what will be the pricing. He told me that it will be super affordable for WP Codebox users, but no other details about the pricing is not released yet. Nevertheless, at the moment, when it's in alpha stage, I can use it for free since I'm the WP Codebox user. This is my favorite code snippet manager. This one is a premium plugin, but it allows me to save my snippets to the cloud. I can choose what kind of snippet I add here. I can choose the condition. For example, if I add the snippet, I can add the condition to show it only for specific product categories. For example, if I add a snippet, this one works only on accessories, product category pages. Previously, I have made a Toro review video about the WP code box. The link to this video is in the description of this video. One more thing, as I said, it's a premium plugin, but if you take a look at the description of this video, there is a nice 20% discount coupon for you. Now let's take a closer look at the WP Cody. Once again, WP code is in alpha stage, so everything you see here may change before it will be released. But at the moment, let's take a look at the option we have right now. Basically, after you have logged in, there are a couple of options here. First, generate a code snippet. Second one, explain a code snippet. Third one, modify it. And if your code is working and it displays some error, then this one helps you to explain what, what does it mean. And last one, it allows you to create a custom PHP conditions for WP Codebox. Up here, if you have generated any snippets, like the one I created in the beginning of this video, then I see all the snippets here. I can copy all the snippets. I can copy the code. You can also search your snippets using this input here. Now let's test how it works. So. I'm going to add a command, add a custom text field to WooCommerce backend under the general tab. If this is done, I need all the data to be saved. I have to say, I'm not sure whether it works or not. I'm just going to test it out as you see. And third command, display this custom field value on WooCommerce single product pages before add to cart button. Now let's generate the code and see whether it works. Okay, this one will create a field. This should save it to the database. And this one should display it in front of the add to cart button. Okay, I'm gonna grab it, create a new snippet, paste it here, save, give it the title, custom field. I'm gonna display it everywhere, save it activate it. Now let's open up a product and see whether it worked. I'm going to open this product. And what do you know? There is a custom field here. Let's see whether it displays on front end. Update. 
view product. What do you know? There is a text. Awesome, isn't it? And this way you can create all sorts of code snippets, even if you're a total beginner. Pay attention though that not every snippet will work. There is a limitation at the moment about of the length of the code it will produce. Also, if it doesn't work, then modify your command and test it again. But at the moment, as you saw, it worked well. Now, let's take a look at this one here. Explain WordPress code snippet. I'm going to paste my snippet here, tell it to explain, and then there will be an explanation. The first line of code adds a new filter. The second line of code defines a new custom tab title. And there is a short summary. In a nutshell, this code snippet adds a new custom tab to the WooCommerce product page, which contains a form for customers to send an inquiry, which is totally correct because I took this code from my own site just to see how well it can explain the code. So if you're a total beginner and you don't know what is a code you're using and whether it's any good for your needs, then this way you can see what is what. Next one, modify WordPress code snippet. So what will it do? If I have a code snippet which works, but I have to tweak it a bit, or maybe it almost works, but nevertheless needs to be tweaked, then I just paste it here and I can modify it. For example, take a look. This is the custom field we created. There is a text I added. I delete it, update it, but it keeps appearing back. If I replace it with a text, then it will be changed. I need this text to be gone if I update the field. So I'm going to paste my code snippet here. And I will say that if I delete text from the custom field and update post and display empty input and remove value from the database. Now I'm going to click on modify button. Next I'm going to grab this code here. Replace it with this part. Save it. I'm going to refresh the product here. Let's remove my custom text. Update. It works. Let's add another text. Update. And it works again by showing it here. Let's give it another go for testing another snippet. I'm going to paste my snippet here. And what this snippet does, it, it displays related products in custom tab with a priority of 50. Maybe I don't know that. Therefore, I'm going to give it a command. For example, move this tab to the first position. Modify. See what happened. And what did it do? It changed the priority because the AI behind it is so powerful. It analyzed the code. So what is what? And the AI knew that this is a part it should tweak a bit. Once again, if you find some kind of code from Stack Overflow or whatever it is, it works, but you need to tweak it a bit, then just paste it here and it usually works well. Next one is also usual, generate the codebook's custom PHP condition. For example, maybe I would like to run the code snippet only if the card contains product with ID number 400 and the card total is 100 or more. I'm going to generate the code. It will give me the condition and I can tweak my code by adding it here. Let's change another one. Only if product belongs to category with a slug. Accessories. Generate. And there you go. Here's my condition. So this was a sneak peek of the WP Cody. Awesome tool. I have played with it and every time I play with it, it keeps amazing me. So if you would like to get an access to it, then take a look at the WP code box. Link to it is in the video description. Or you can wait until the second quarter of 2023, then it will be released to everybody. Now before you go, wait. If you find this tutorial helpful, then press thumbs up this one here and take a look at this side of the screen. It contains two good videos. I think you may find them useful. Meanwhile, take care. Bye.